Uh, now we have one archived file, uh, but the file is bigger than the sum of the original files. So what if you want to compress those files for ease of transport? So Linux has several commands capable of creating compre uh, compressed files. So we will look at this here, uh, gzip, which uses the extension tar uh, here. Actually, uh, gzip here. Gzip is, uh, uses extension tar gz or tgz here like that um, so we have bzip2 here bzip2 uh, here uh, which uses extension tar bz2 here actually bz is not separate uh, and we have compress uh, compress here and this is that uses the tar z here like that so the, uh, these all are, uh, are capable of compressing our files, but they use different compression algorithms and have different compression ratios. So therefore, we will look at each one and uh, what it's capable of. In general, uh, compress is the fastest. Compress is the fastest, but the resultant files are larger. Larger. So bzip2, bzip2 uh, here is the slowest, but the resultant files are the smallest. And uh, gzip uh, falls somewhere in between fast, um, compress and bzip2. The main reason you, as budding hacker, you should know all three methods, uh, methods is that when accessing gutter tools, you will run into various types of compression. Therefore, this section shows you how to deal with the main methods of compression. So, uh, compress, uh, compression with gzip here i will show you so let's try uh, gzip genu zip here first um, and as it's the most commonly used compression utility in linux so it's popular in linux so you can compress uh, our techness project uh, tar file by entering uh, the f here for example let's delete our tar file here and let's complete new projects here um, gzip uh, here tech pins and uh, one turner uh, operator here uh, so by entering here and let's enter and let ls and as you can see here we gzipped it uh, so As you can see here, and let's open here. So we have C hatch file here, and we have actually let's um, return our text pins project uh, tar uh, from crash here because we I will do some uh, example here. So let's unzip it as well here and uh, tick pins and tick pins one here and tick pins delete this tick pins here. So we can uh, we can compress this uh, this compressed file too, but it's actually not compressed. It's just tarred and uh, the file is not reduced here. So we can reduce this file here. For example, ls, as you can see, let's copy it here. cp tech pins project here. Tech pins project and tech pins, tech pins project here. Tech pins project here. Copy or uh, just like that, copy that tar here. ls, so we create a copy of it. So let's gzip our techpins project, techpins project here, and techpins project tar. So as you can see here, techpins project tar here, tar gzip, so we copied it. So now lsl here, so as you can see here, our file uh, size is reduced here by significant amount here. So Notice that we used uh, here before uh, of it, we used wildcard operator here. Let me show you. 
here. So uh, this tells Linux that the command should apply to any file that begins with techpins uh, with any file extension. You will use similar notation uh, for the uh, following examples. When you we do long listing on the directory, we can use uh, techpins tar has been replaced by here uh, techpins project tar to uh, take this project tar gz here we create another file uh, like that just a copy here so as you can see the file uh, size uh, sized is um, used significant amount almost let's calculate it uh, 399360 and as you can see here the file size is uh, sized uh, actually 178 times uh, so we can uh, then then compress that file uh, by using the gunzip here command gunzip uh, short for uh, genu unzip command here uh, here g unzip here so g unzip take pins uh, project project tar gz here and let's do it ls here so we unzipped here as you can see there is a no gz extension of it here and our file size is returned the same here so once uncompressed uncompressed the file is no longer saved with a tar uh, gz ex uh, extension uh, but with the tar extension instead so also notice that it's returned uh, to its original size uh, here uh, and try doing a long list to confirm this um, it's worth um, worth nothing than the gzip can also be used extract zip files here uh, so we have we can compress uh, as i said earlier bzip2 uh, here another of the uh, other widely used compression utilities in linux is bzip2 which works similarly to gzip but has better compression ratios meaning that the resulting file will even be smaller than that here actually we closed our calculator that right uh, yes we closed our calculator and uh, calculator here so now we will uh, zip these files again here so bzip2 uh, tech pins project dot tar here and ls la here as you can see here it's almost 488 bytes here so now let's uh, calculate it 399 uh, 360 and divide by 488 here as you can see there is almost 800 um, 18 times um, our file is smaller than our original file so but in a uh, previous case it was 100 more than 117 uh, here 70 here so uh, when you uh, do a long listing you can see the bzip has compressed the file just uh, down to of so many bytes here as not that the file extension is no tar bz2 here so to uncompress the compressed file use the uh, b unzip2 and take this project tar bz2 here and let's ls here and as you can see here, our file size is here so we can uh, use the compress command as well i want to show you lastly here uh, so the compress uh, the finally you can use the compress uh, to compress the file here this is probably the least commonly used compression utility but it's easy to remember but uh, to use it simply enter the compress followed by the file name for example tech beans project uh, that tar here and uh, let's lsl here and as you can see it's not much of compression here as i said earlier 399360 divide with uh, 12 491 here and as you can see it's smaller than just uh, 31 times here 
So not the not that the uh, compression utility reduce size uh, of file um, here. Uh, also note that the file extension now is tar z here with uppercase z. So uh, to decompress the same file, just press uh, you just use uh, uncompressed here, uncompressed here, and your file name take pins project dot z here, and ls l here. So uh, you can also use the uh, g unzip g new unzip command with files that have been compressed uh, with compress uh, command here, just keep in mind. So uh, we can create a bit by bit or physical copies of the storage devices as well here, uh, just within the world of information security and hacking, while Linux archiving command stands uh, above the list in its usefulness. So the dd uh, command makes a bit by bit copy of a file uh, a file system or even an entire entire hard drive here so this means that even deleted files are copied <laughs> yes it's important to know uh, that your deleted files may be recover recoverable there making for easy discovery and recovery is here so deleted files will not be copied with the most logical copying utility such as the uh, cp here and uh, when a, uh, once a hacker has owned a target system the the uh, command will allow them uh, to copy the entire hard drive uh, or a storage device to their system. So in addition, uh, those people uh, whose job is to catch hackers, namely forensic investigators, will likely use this command to make a physical copy of the hard drive with deleted files and other artifacts that might be useful for finding evidence against the hacker. It's critical to note that the DD command shall not be used for typical day-to-day -day copying of files and storage devices because it's very slow here. Other commands to uh, do the job faster and more efficiently. So it is truly excellent when you copy, uh, when you need a copy of a storage device without file system or uh, other logical structures such as in a forensic investigation here. So DD if is the input file here uh, in input file uh, here and off is the output file so if you wanted to make the physical copy of your flash uh, drive assuming your flash drive is uh, stb here and then input file is going to be dev stb this is the your flash drive flash drive and output file is your the file which you want to copy bit by bit your flash drive here this in this case it uh, for example it will be home here kali and our flash copy copy secret here secret here and let's uh, here so let's uh, break down this command here so dd your physical copy command so if this is your input file and with devsdb is representing your flash drive in uh, div category directory and off here uh, design design it's your output file and uh, here uh, rule uh, home kali flash copy secret here is the name of uh, the file you want to copy to the, to the, to the basic copy to. For more complex expl explanation of the Linux system design, uh, design item of drives, uh, it will be discussed in later lectures here. So, uh, Linux has a number of commands to enable you to combine and compress your files for easier transfer. So, uh, for combining files, tar is the command of choice, and you have at least three utilities for compressing files. These are gzip, bzip2, and compress. So, uh, all with different compression ratios. So, the, the dd command goes uh, above and beyond. It enables you to make a physical copy of storage devices without the logical structure, such as a file system here, allowing you to recover such artifacts as deleted files.